find the center of gravity of the steel plate, neglecting the third dimension. What that means is this is going to be a symmetric plate out of the plane of the paper. So we, for example, if we were going to suspend this steel plate, we would know to hang it from halfway through the depth into the paper, whatever that happens to be. What that means is we can only, we can answer the question by finding out where the centroid of the shape is. So we're going to find the centroid of this shape, the centroid of the area, because we're not given any information about any differences in density or um, material or anything else. So we're going to assume it's a uniform plate and that the depth is unimportant, so we can find simply the centroid of the area. To find the centroid of the area, we're going to use composite body methods. We're going to break this into two areas where we actually know what how the centroids work together. So I've arbitrarily assumed an axis system, x and y. This is 9 centimeters to the end of the triangle. This would be where x is equal to 13 centimeters because the rectangle is of size 4 centimeters by 6 centimeters. So our triangle is 9 by 6. We know by the composite body methods that the centroid of a triangle is a third of the way from the big end in both of its directions. So this distance is two-thirds of nine, which is six centimeters, and this distance is one-third of six, which is two. So we can complete our table at this point. The rectangle is going to have its centroid in the middle, which will be when x equals nine plus two, and y is just going to be equal to three. So let's fill in the table. x bar, y bar, a, x bar, a, and y bar a for each of my shapes. I only have two shapes. The x bar of the triangle, that is the x location of the centroid of this triangle with respect to my axis system. So my, the centroid of my triangle is located at x equals 6, y equals 2. The centroid of my rectangle is located at x equals 9 plus 2, or 11, and y equals 3. It's very important that you understand that this number is 11, not 2. The x, these have to be measured with respect to my axis system that I picked. The area is going to be 1 half 9 times 6, which is 27, and the area over here is 4 times 6, which is 24. Now we can fill this out. To find x bar a, you want to multiply your x bar column and your a column, similarly with y bar a, for each of my two shapes. So 6 times 27 is 162. 2 times 27 is 54. 11 times 24 is 264. And 3 times 24 is 72. What we want to do at this point is find the sum of the a's, the sum of the x bar a's, and the sum of the y bar a's. So all I have to do is add up these columns. 27 plus 24 is 51. 162 plus 264 is 426, and 54 plus 72 is 126. We know that x bar of the entire thing is the sum of the x bar a's over the sum of the a's. So in that case, that looks like 426 over 51. y bar is going to be the sum of the y bar a's over the sum of the a's, which is 126 over 51. That gives you 8.3529 and 2.4706. Those are the locations for the centroid of the area of the entire object. Does it make any sense? Does it make any sense at all that my centroid would be very close to the end of the triangle? Sure. Does it make any sense that it would be at approximately, this is 8 out of 9, with this being only 4, that, that's reasonable, and that this would be just above 2. Yes, that's also reasonable. It's going to be somewhere between this value of 2 and this value of 3. So somewhere in there. Now we want to answer the question. The center of gravity is at 8.35 centimeters from the left end, 2.4 centimeters from the bottom, and at whatever third dimension lo location we were not given in the problem.